Hi, my name is Vaishani and I'm the founder of the Champa Tree. And today I've got you a bag full of interesting books. The first book that I have is The Best At It. It captures the story of a 12 year old boy, Rahul. Highly recommended for parents with teenagers. The second book I have is Sudha Murthy's The Gopi Diaries. Now, this book is so interesting because the dog here is actually narrating the story. And I would recommend this book to all the kids like Harshal who love pets. The third book that I have with me is the classic short stories for children. It has some of the most beautiful classic stories that we have grown up reading, our parents have grown up reading and I think it's just very very nice to revisit uh, your childhood nostalgia. So my son loved this uh, book but I loved it more because it has those stories like The Railway Man which I read when I was back in the day when I was kind of growing up. Fourth one, India at the Olympics. Now why I recommend this book is because it has very interesting facts about players that are, that are kind of thrown in and the narrative is very, very strong because it also celebrates 100 years of Indian athletes. This is my next pick, A to Z of Indian cities. This book is actually helping me imagine my life after COVID. It's because, you know, it talks about the, um, it picks uh, one city per page and it describes the culture, the language spoken, the, you know, festival celebrated, the food we eat. And I would recommend this book, not just for its beautiful illustrations, but also because it's done so nicely and everything is so nicely laid out. So 10 points to the illustrations and I would say that it also sharpens your, uh, you know, your knowledge and your child's IQ. Recommended, especially because at this point we're not traveling. Last book, The Job Academy. I cannot thank Ria and Shahina enough because um, this book is my go-to book. Because at, you know, just before we sleep, for about two months, this was a bedtime reading. Harshal actually understood germs way better uh, through the illustrations in this book. And not that he didn't understand uh, the repercussions of not washing hands or not washing the, his feet. I think the way this book describes germs, it's commendable. So please tell us, which is your favorite pick? Which one are you reading this week? And which one are you planning to read next week? Share your uh, responses and comments. And if you really like this video, give us a thumbs up.